Blade Runner meets Saga in this new series from Image, written by Kelly Thompson and drawn by Meredith McLaren called Black Cloak. It takes place in this city called Kuros, the last city in the known world. Now, which world that is, not quite sure because uh, this world consists of gnomes, fairies, elves, and other strange creatures. We do know that there was a war several hundred years ago where the, much of the world was destroyed. A beloved prince has been murdered, and Phaedra, who used to be part of the royal family herself, but now is in exile, but she has become a black cloak, which is the equivalent of kind of like an FBI agent or a police officer in this world. Phaedra is put in the awkward position of having to solve the murder of this prince whom she actually grew up with. And to do that, she has to return to the royal palace where she is persona non grata. McLaren's art style makes it seem like kind of an, an all ages sort of a book, even though it does deal with a lot of adult topics. Phaedra and her partner have their hands full as they try to figure out the connection between the death of the prince, a mermaid from the lagoon, and this elf whose uh, body is also found at the lagoon with the mermaid. As with all societies, there's politics and classism involved in this story. The black cloaks are instructed to drop everything and make this case priority one. And even though the royals are probably suspects in this case, they're treated with kid gloves by the authorities, just like rich people in every other society. This double-sized first issue of Black Cloak really sets up uh, a lot of drama and intrigue for upcoming issues. Even though this is a murder mystery, it doesn't have a dark feel about it. It has a, an almost light and airy kind of an atmosphere. If you are a fan of Saga or Blade Runner, or even James Tinian's Wind, I think you might find Black Cloak a thing you might be interested in. Fans of the detective murder mysteries like myself might find this interesting. Uh, it has a different kind of a look to an old familiar uh, kind of a trope. It shows you can drop a murder mystery into almost any kind of a world and make it work. Murder mystery, magic, Palace intrigue, yeah, sure. Sign me up for it. I'm all down with all the all of the above. Well, that's all for this indie comics review. Be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and turn notifications on so you know when I'm making my next video. So until next time, see you guys in the funny papers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.